Hello guys, my name is Blue Digit, and I'm going to be telling you right now, you gotta play Arcane Odyssey. Um, I used to not like playing Roblox, uh, this is not the main game I always do, but I'll tell you what, this game feels on par with many RPGs that I've played in the past. Um, and I, I gave up on a lot of them because they feel really grindy, this doesn't do that. Um, and I'm going to explain everything, so um, if you're wary or if you're wondering if this is a game you should play, I'm just going to tell you right now, get it, it's probably one of the best um, RPGs on Roblox right now. Uh, and you're probably going to enjoy playing with friends. So that's if that's it then go But if you want to know more and Doran is not going to spoil anything uh, You stay here and I will explain why you need to play this game. So uh, first off Immersion. This game is probably one of the most immersed games that I, I've played in a long time. Uh, not only can you decide any way you want to play within the confound, uh, compounds of the game Basically, if you want to be like an anime character, you can. If you want to be a swords expert, you can. If you want to be a giant beefy Hulk, you can um basically the bounds are endless and that's really cool the cool thing too is uh there's also a moral system so you, it's not like you can just be strong and go kill everyone you want you can but it's going to come at a cost and that's what's really cool about this a lot of people were talking about how this game might be like a one piece type thing um because it's apparently a trilogy to this whole arcane storyline that's why it had a lot of hype behind it and uh this one's obviously well out in sea and uh there's a lot of dynamic uh play uh, gameplay that you can do uh for example obviously you get a big boat and you can change your uh your uh your crew you can change out your uh first hand um people can join your crew they're outside players and that, that's what's really cool so uh there's that there's also fishing um and there's tons of fish like you can collect i think it's definitely over 100 so like it, there's a lot of diversity and this is one roblox game you know so um that's really crazy and the best thing is this is free i've seen a few other roblox games that aren't and one that's i would say very notable is deep Oaken. a lot of people talk about that and uh, I, I can see why they get annoyed by that but free, obviously for a free game being this well done um it's just surprising that's roblox uh, jumping back in, uh, this is mainly PvE, but it's also PvP once you get to a higher level. Um, and because of that, a lot of people might be wary, like, okay, do am I just going to get killed right away, like in Deep Oaken? Answer is no. Um, the good thing about this is that there's actually a system that's in place where you have to be at least level 50 before PvP, PvP can actually happen. So if someone just wants to come out and over and try and kill you, there are, you're going to, have to be level 50 which means that noobs you get a chance to actually like work your way around things and get used to the mechanics and that's great um a lot of these other games don't do that for you uh and that's hard another good thing is that um this game is very easy to understand uh except for maybe a few of the controls which you can look up like maybe one guide um and that's just assuming you probably will get all the controls anyways um this game is very easy to jump into and understand there's not like any like crazy bounds that you're not going to understand or um 5,000 wikis you gotta look at so that's very nice. The replayability is also very well done because there's different routes you can go. You have different characters, uh, different power scaling. So that's awesome as well. Um, but the side quests are also something that I, I didn't really expect to be good because a lot of side quests are just kind of boring. All it is is just fetch quests and there is that here, but there's also some side quests that quite literally will just like give you new abilities straight up. And if you don't do them, then obviously you're not going to get that with for your character. And that's that's pretty cool. Um, another thing I also went into, which I mean, like this is a little bit of a spoiler, but not too much. Um, if you are like, let's say evil, right? And this is why I love this game. It's, it's a Roblox game and it's going this much in depth, in depth. If you're evil and you start killing people, like the townspeople are not going to like you. Like they're quite literally not going to like sell stuff to you because you're evil. You're killing people and you have to find other people off that island that are also villains or uh you know just with bad reputation to do commerce with and that's that's special especially for a roblox game um with all of that being said i mean who am i to say I, I i just play a few roblox games and that's why you know i enjoy this however for the immersion that this game gives you and also the fact that it's an rpg that i, I feel like a lot of rpgs nowadays are very grindy you have to like what wait hundreds of hours until you can actually really play the game this doesn't do that to you these are gonna jump in right away and there's so much uh flexibility with the way this game runs that no matter what you're gonna find something you will like and that's how you know you have a great rpg something that enthralls you in its world that you don't really feel like you have to get into it you just are and that's exactly what this game does so um if i have anything else to say anything that would maybe sell you on it the last beacon of hope <laughs> if you're not impressed yet is that there's an awesome music score oh
Oh, I'm probably gonna do a video on that soon because I just I love the music. The music is probably one of the best things in this game, honestly. Uh, it, you will feel so hyped up. You're gonna you're gonna feel like you're an anime character just going like Super Saiyan or something. So, um, anyways though, uh, if you'd like to see more and you're not convinced yet, I am going to be doing a uh, series of this. I'm going to be showing my whole playthrough up until the very end, and maybe uh, you'll see even more of that. But um. Thanks so much for watching. Obviously, play the video if you haven't already. Uh, maybe check out some more videos. It's gonna be, you know, in, in the corners or something. You'll you'll see some pop up and uh, and uh, subscribe would be pretty cool. So, uh, love you guys. Have a good day and uh, play the game. <laughs>